What's good? We back. Welcome back. It's been Mimi. How you been? How's life treating you? She, the way life is going right now. So much, so much. Okay, but now y'all for real, let's get into this video. Today we're gonna be doing a no foundation, like everyday makeup look. And yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. So, before all of this coronavirus stuff happened, I was a server. And sometimes, my shift started at 4.15 and I had a class that I didn't get out of, what time I got out of class? I honestly don't think I got out of class until four o'clock. So, you know, being a server, you try to look presentable, cute, all this stuff. So some days I would be like, you know, I need to put something on my face, do something. So this was just my little quick everyday, no foundation, makeup routine. Super fast. Super easy, super quick. feeling about everything that's going on because to say the least i am disgusted with america do you hear me disgusted with america like and it's crazy because this this stuff been going on like this shit been happening and honestly It's some bullshit. Like, I just want to know how are these people not arrested yet? Breonna Taylor. Courthouse, what are y'all doing? Judges, um, DAs, anybody. Shit, do we need to go put them in handcuffs ourselves or what? Because y'all aren't hearing us. Y'all aren't listening. And y'all need to be fucking listening. Because this shit is not okay. How the fuck? How you go in somebody's house and shoot them while they sleep? That was your first instinct was just to walk in the house and just start shooting. Not observe the scene. Not try to see, you know, what's going on. Not try to investigate nobody. Um, Don't y'all always say, you know, don't they be saying, you know, they're no good to us dead. They can't tell you anything. Dummies. Y'all didn't even try to, I mean, goddamn, I feel like right now I'm pleading a better case than y'all. I'm a better, better cop than y'all. Fucking pigs. You know what? I'm sick of it. And it's crazy that it has to come to us doing all this. Just for y'all to see is wrong. Like, y'all don't see that already? Like, I'm... What? And I understand, you know, people say racism is taught. But you really, you really in your heart feel like there's nothing wrong with it. Like, you really deep down, like, you don't see anything wrong with it. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Y'all, wow. Like, wow. That shit. At your big grown ass age. 
you still have hate for somebody you literally don't know and for something that they can't fucking change. The color of our skin is something that we literally cannot change. Don't would never want to change anyway. But that's why that's why y'all have so much rage as racist people. That's confusing to me. I like for real in the comments. Like somebody please help me. Come on, I need let's start a discussion here. Let's start a talk. Cause this shit is ridiculous. It's truly ridiculous. Like that shit makes me so scared. And I really can't think of baby girl name. And this makes me mad because I should be, I'm part of the problem right now. I should be remembering their names, everybody's name. But baby girl who got shot at the traffic stop. Oh, y'all shot her for being black. You literally had no other reason. She didn't do nothing wrong. You didn't know her from goddamn jack shit. And y'all shot her. Do you know how fucking scary that is? That y'all are that fucking psycho? Like, that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. But honestly, I'm really hoping. People always say, you ain't gonna make a change. Y'all ain't gonna make a change. We're making a change. Things are getting done. So don't let nobody tell you this protesting, this riding, all this stuff is not working because things are getting done. Things are happening. Okay? Things are happening. But we got to keep it up. We got to keep the momentum. We can't let it die. We always, you know, because this ain't the first time that we didn't seen this happen. Especially not even in my my years of living. This ain't the first time I've seen this happen. The first time I really, really, truly experienced this type of hurt and just wow, like just a uh, eye opener was when Trayvon Martin happened because I think I was in high school. Yeah. I feel, I think I was in the ninth grade. I think I was in the ninth grade when it happened. And I know I'm trying to have a discussion with y'all and I keep on pausing. It's really I really cannot find the words to say, like to put my thoughts into play because it's just so much. Like it's just so much going on up here from all this stuff that's going on that it's overwhelming. Like that shit is is not okay. It's not okay at all. But like I was saying, with Trevor and Marty, it was really crazy to me to see. Someone shoot and kill an unarmed teenager. And don't go to jail. Like, I will never forget sitting, we were all, my whole family, aunts, grandma, granddaddy, uncle, we were sitting watching the news to see what the verdict was going to be. And when I tell y'all, everybody, everybody bust down in tears, because how, how as a jury, how as the, the people, how as a fucking judge do you not see where that's 
unacceptable. That's he's a murderer. Like, how do you not see that? But but a black person, I can go to jail for goddamn having the three five on me. Fuck fuck jail. I could die at this point. I could die for having the three five on me. What? Help me understand. Somebody, please help me understand. Because I really don't get it. It's not okay. It will never be okay. And to all of my white people, if any white people ever watch this video, it's not okay for you to sit around and not say anything. It's not okay at all. And you need to tell your family members, your friends. If you feel like you are not racist, then you need to call out the racist. And to my black people, stop recording these motherfuckers. Beat their ass up, because I'm sick of it. No, forget that social media shaming them. Beat their ass. Teach their ass they lesson right then and there. So they don't know what to say no more. Not to do whatever they did. No more. It's, enough is enough. And I'm tired. Okay. Now. We gonna take this. Back to this makeup tutorial. But I just had to speak my piece because I'm tired. And enough is enough been enough. <laughs> Let's start there. Enough been enough. But enough is a fucking enough. And we gotta we gotta do better. We gotta we gotta do way better. Y'all, I was supposed to record how long this video took. I mean, how long this makeup look was going to take. But I got, got into Black Lives. Because Black Lives matter. They will always matter. And yes, all lives matter. Okay, we already fucking know that. But all lives clearly don't matter because, bitch, y'all don't think Black Lives matter. So all lives can't matter until Black Lives matter. And it's on period. Okay. Okay. So y'all, I'm gonna use. I said I want this no foundation. This is still no foundation. Well, we use foundation, but shit, y'all know what y'all know what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna use a little foundation to outline the top of our brows, just because we kind of want this to blend. Since we're not putting on foundation, we want it to still blend, you know what I'm saying? Really well. Really well. What you what you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know? I said my lip gloss be popping, my lip gloss be cool. I the boy keep jogging and they take me at the school. Come on, lip gloss. It popping. It's popping. Okay, okay y'all, to discuss another important topic, the Yemen crisis is going on where over 80% of their population is in need of humanitarian resources, which is including 12 million kids. Like, the kids are literally having to eat leaves to try to survive. And studies and researchers have shown that a kid dies every 10 minutes. Unacceptable. I just want everybody to always remember how blessed they are. And no matter your situation, there's always somebody in a worse situation than you. So you have to be blessed for what you have. With that being said, let's get back into this makeup video. This is an optional step. I just like to do this. Because 
but I'm going to take um, my Velvet Touch Eyeshadow by e.l.f. And it's like, y'all see, I done kind of used a lot of it. It's like a little brown velvet <laughs> kind of. And I just like to put that on my eye. Excuse me. Y'all see, I'm just, I ain't even really doing nothing fancy. Just put it all over your eye. It's all my life. Told y'all. I ain't no any way now. I just know how to do a little something. something. Just put it all over your eye. Mm -hmm. So here I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey and I'm just applying it as if I would apply my regular foundation routine. just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm again blending everything out and smoothing it like I would in my regular routine Now I'm just going to take my Infallible Longwear Foundation Shaping Stick by L'Oreal and begin contouring my face. take my airspun um, setting powder in the color naturally neutral and begin setting my face under my eyes my chin and my forehead Now we're gonna apply eyelashes and this look is almost done. I really wish I would have recorded myself, you know, in real time without all the talking and stopping. Cause I really think this would take you less than 10 minutes. Mm, 15, less than 15 minutes. And I'm going to apply these on camera for you all this time. Requested by a few people. Y'all going to say I'm a psychopath. But I don't care. Because um, this is how I like to apply my lashes. And this is the best way to me. Hold it. 
And don't give a fuck. And don't. the Pillsbury Dough Bunny. That's why I'm giving it to y'all the real. Okay? Because I'm not perfect. And I'm not on any way. So I really don't even know how to do this shit for real. So we're going to learn together on here. This is a learning, growing environment. Okay? Judgment's a free zone. Do you hear me? Are y'all sure? Yeah, I hear me. And boom, big bleaks on the hoe. Okay. Okay, so then I just go back. Y'all see this little piece right here? It's right now. Oh, y'all not in the pool to let y'all. All right. So, honestly, it's still sticky though. Y'all, I'm not gonna reapply these layers. Let me let y'all know. So, for future references, y'all just be more gentle than me and don't pull the whole freaking lash off. Okay? Because I'm not gonna reapply these layers. She's like, you know what? It's three o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna just take this off anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah. Y'all get the point, though. You know what I'm saying? The little tear trick. And that's how you clear a beach. Now I'm gonna take my fan brush and dust off the rest of the setting powder. <laughs> Now I'm just going to take my lip liner to line my lips. I couldn't find my MAC chestnut that I always use, so I just used my eyeliner. And it worked perfectly fine for me. But I did have Vaseline on my lips, so you'll see me wiping that off because the lip liner wouldn't take. Oh yeah, y'all, and don't forget to set y'all face. For my new color, I'm using the NYX lingerie in the color Dust to Dawn.
taking my Elf Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls and just applying it to my nose and my cheekbones. And we out of there. <laughs> And that's it. I know today was a makeup tutorial, but I just wanted to come on and just really spread light onto so many things that are going on in Yemen. Not just America. Like, America is not the only place of problem. The whole world is fucked up. If we're just being honest and transparent here. Um, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of people that need help. So, I just feel like be the change that you want to see. Don't just sit around. I know people always tell us or people tell people all the time, well, you aren't going to make a change. You never know what you might do until you do it. So that is just my little sprinkle of light for today's video. I hope everyone stays prayed up, stay blessed. And I'm going to list a link of petitions below for everyone to sign. And if someone knows of places where people can donate and legit organizations to help any of the matters, any causes that are going on in the world today. Please leave them below for me and for others to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all be back here, right here, for the next one. Thank you.